Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. Today I'm going to continue previewing all the college basketball conference tournaments in which the winner of the tournament gets an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. In most non-major conferences, you have to win your conference tournament to make it in unless you have a very strong resume. This podcast, I'll preview the SEC tournament. This is one of those tournaments where the auto bid to gets into the tournament, but the at-larges are to be had here. The conference tournament is being held at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri. For what it's worth, this bracket does not do reseeding. There are 14 teams in this conference in the first round today. The second round is tomorrow. The quarterfinals are Friday. The semifinals are Saturday, and the championship game is Sunday. Before I get to my predictions, my picks for the first round will count towards my Maddie's picks, but not my projected picks for the second round, se- quarterfinals, semifinals, and championship games. The actual second round, quarterfinals, semifinals, and championship games that play out, I'll pick those games towards Maddie's picks on the podcast the days those games are being played just in case I get one of those first-round picks wrong. And if I get my first-round picks right, I'll carry over my projected second-round picks on tomorrow's podcast, the quarterfinals on Friday's podcast, the semifinal picks on Saturday morning's podcast, and I'll pick the championship game on Saturday night's podcast. To the picks. This, like I said, this is going to be an interesting tournament. Um, a ton of at-larges to be had. I think you could be in play for some upsets here. Here we go. First round tonight, about to get underway. 13 seed Vanderbilt against 12 seed Georgia. Vanderbilt 12 and 19 on the year, 6 and 12 in conference play. Georgia 16 and 14 on the year, 7 and 11 in conference play. The pick, Georgia. 14 seed Ole Miss against 11 seed South Carolina. Ole Miss 12 and 19 on the year, 5 and 13 in conference play. South Carolina 16 and 15 on the year, 7 and 11 in conference play. The pick is South Carolina. Second round, 9 seed Alabama. Against 8 seed Texas A&M, Alabama went 17 and 14 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Texas A&M went 20 and 11 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. The Crimson Tide need to win a few games in the tournament to comfortably be in the field. I, and I like Colin Sexton to lead the way for the Tide over an Aggies team that should be in regardless of what they do in the tournament. So the pick here is Alabama. 12 seed Georgia against 5 seed Missouri. Missouri 20 and 11 on the year, 10 and 8 in conference play. Michael Porter Jr. is back, and he'll help the Tigers advance past the Bulldogs. So the pick here is Missouri. 10 seed LSU against 7 seed Mississippi State. LSU 17 and 13 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Mississippi State 21 and 10 on the year, 9 and 9 in conference play. The Bulldogs need a few wins in this tournament to even reach the field, but I like them here over the Tigers. So give me the Bulldogs with Mississippi State. 11 seed South Carolina against 6 seed Arkansas. Arkansas 21 and 10 on the year, 10 and 8 in conference play. The Gamecocks have picked off some good teams this season, but the Razorbacks are very solid, and I like them in here in this matchup. So the pick here is Arkansas. Quarterfinals, Friday. Nine seed Alabama against one seed Auburn. Auburn 25-6 and six on the year, 13-3 and three in conference play. The Tigers crushed the tide a few weeks ago on their home court, and they're playing for a possible two or three seed, depending how how things break. The Tide have the best player on the court in Sexton, and I like them to pull off an upset here to improve their at-large chances. So the pick here is Alabama. Five-seed Missouri against four-seed Kentucky. Kentucky 21-10 and 10 on the year, 10-8 and eight in conference play. This is an excellent matchup for an SEC quarterfinal. Porter's back, and he'll be great. But John Calipari's teams usually play their best in March, so give you the Wildcats in the close one. So the pick here is Kentucky. 17 Mississippi State against 2 seed Tennessee. Tennessee 23 and 7 on the year, 13 and 5 in conference play. The Bulldogs' chances of reaching the big dance come to an end here against Grant Williams and the Volunteers. So the pick is Tennessee. 6 seed Arkansas against 3 seed Florida. Florida 20 and 11 on the year, 11 and 7 in conference play. A sneaky good game here between two quality teams. Give me the Gators in the close one, although both teams are headed to the big dance regardless of what happens in this tournament. So the pick here is Florida. Semifinals 9 seed Alabama against 4 seed Kentucky. This would be a fun matchup considering it's Sexton going up against another possible lottery pick in Kevin Knox. In a close one, give me Knox and the Wildcats as the tide await their fate on Selection Sunday. So give me Kentucky. Three seed Florida against two seed Tennessee. An experienced Gator team goes up against a surprising Vols team. It should be a fun and interesting game. Give me the Gators in a close one. So give me Florida. Championship game. Four seed Kentucky against three seed Florida. One o'clock ESPN Sunday afternoon. Here we have... A fun conference title game between two teams that are just built for March. Give me the Wildcats in a super close one as the Gators would settle for an at-large bid. So the pick here is the Kentucky Wildcats. I'll be back in a few minutes with 
a preview and predictions for the Big East, the Big 12, and the Conference USA Tournament.